everyone today i'm going to show you how to make these super cute lace top top of bows so this is the look and these are made right-handed i'm going to show you how to make the left-handed version today and this is in 1.5 inch ribbon and one inch ribbon and i got the ribbon and both set the ribbon and the lace from lovey crafts ltd and they do bundles and like it's pastel colors and there's like eight or ten different colours with the matching ribbon and the matching nine millimeter to wrap your ribbon uh, your bows so like i said it's a it's a good deal i'll put the link in the description below for you along with some other bits and pieces all your measurements and all of that kind of thing and we've also got tutorials for this style bow and these ones and this version it's basically going to be the lace versions of all of these so this is the one we're working on These are the ones we are doing now. And like I said, we're using 1.5 inch ribbon and one inch lace. So let's move everything out of the way. And we're using two different templates. We're using the four inch template and I have made a DIY version of the four and a half because I don't have a four and a half template in wood like most of my others. And the place to buy your templates is all in the description below as well. So I've already got it wrapped on the four and a half uh, inch template just to save us some time. And we're going to wrap it exactly the same way on the four inch template with our one inch wide ribbon. And your measurements are 1.5 inch template, 1.5 inch ribbon, 60 centimeters, four inch template, one inch lace, 52 centimeters. It's from Love Your Crafts. And you can do this to the left hand or the right hand. So like I said, depending on which is your dominant hand. Or if you want to make a pigtail set where they're going opposite, the tail's going opposite direction. This will work for you both ways. So take your ribbon. And you want to go a centimetre over your stitch guide. So at a slight angle. Like this. And then you bring this round. So the back straight and then you bring it a cross and you want your triangle where this bit's coming in to be dead center on your stitch stitch guide and when it is you can clip here and the other thing i do to hold this triangle in the right place is i put a clip there as well then you want your lace to slightly overlap at the back but still be straight like the top layer so squish it down a little bit you want like half a centimeter overlap there we go that's better like this and then you bring this up so that it meets everything here and you try and go this side is all on that straight stitch guide and you can't see any of this because it's all lined up in that direction i'll just move that clip there and then we're going to do exactly the same stitch placement on both both uh, bows so we've done exactly the same thing we've wrapped this in exactly the same me um, method it's just the fact that obviously it's on the wide template and we'll use 1.5 inch ribbon instead of one inch so from above you want to go where the edge starts so that's one back up just before the overlap so just where those are joining that's two three is just over make sure your lace is still overlapped just before it overlaps is four there we go five will be just over the join six will just be a little bit before the Join there. Seven, just over that triangle that side. And eight will be coming back up 
through there. So one, two, three, four on the back, which will give us four creases. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is eight in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you can take the clips off. And this is your front facing, so this is what it looks like. And you cinch this in like this, and then wrap round. Once. Twice. And then stitch off in the back however you personally prefer. Try not to keep getting tangled in your ruler like me. And if you like these tutorials, I do three new tutorials every single week on my channel. Can't tell you which days because it changed depends depending on my mood, but it's always three tutorials. I do different materials, so anything where ribbon, tool, lace, bullet, cotton, no sew big shop machines, you name it, if it's a hair bow related or related to hair accessories, I have made it at some point or plan to make it in the future. There's over 300 videos already on the channel and they're all separated into playlists by sizes as well. So if you like are more interested in one inch ribbon, two inch ribbon, three inch ribbon, there is a tutorial playlist for you as well. And like I said, if you like specific ones like boutique bows or tux bows, like I said, whatever is your personal style, they're all broke down into playlist like that as well for you very organized i am so there's that one now this bugs me because that sometimes pops open so i like to hold it and get it lined up like this but when it sits on the other boat it will look nice so again from above make sure your triangles are still lined up in two Three, watch your thread round your template. Four, just before the join. Five, back over. Six, just before the join that side. Just over the triangle. And there. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So I'll have four creases on each on the centre. And you can take all your clips off, pull it off your template, and then this is the front, this is the back. I'm just going to pop that in for one minute. A cinch. There we go. And then cinch to get your creases. One, two, three, four. Wrap your thread round. A couple of times I do like three or four. And then stitch off in the back however you prefer. And make sure everything's nicely balanced. And you can sort of give it a little tweak if you need to. There we go. There's back once it's done. And then you take this version. Like I said, it's just a little bit smaller. So you can just see the colour of the um, 1.5 inch ribbon below. Line it up. You can glue instead. It's a personal preference. I just wrap with this extra thread. So line up your centres. Like this and then I wrap round nice and tightly a good couple of times and then I'm just going to stitch off in the back One. there we go
We'll do the tails in just a minute. Not to give it a little. There we go. That gets it all nice and lined up, if that makes sense. So, got a 30, I think it might be a 45. Yes, 45 millimetre clip. There we go. A little bit of glue across the back. Line that up and you can see there that's your centre crease. So place that centred on there. And then, as I said, you've got the corresponding 9mm for wrapping your centre. Can you see all that? little bit of glue on your pop that center open and we're going to wrap around twice one two make sure it goes directly over the original one you don't want to see any of the original wrap cut that extra off and heat seal the end don't want any fray in the middle There we go. And then, as you know, I tend to do a slight curve on mine. I sort of go from the corner of that bow, so just from there, and then just do a little curve up. And you can see from there, just done the same. going to cut that a little bit shorter so it falls just above there we go and don't forget to heat seal your ribbon don't do it on the lace because it tends to sort of burn burns much quicker than ribbon you can do it very quickly but do it very very gently um got a little scrap anywhere yeah i've got a little scrap don't heat seal your ribbon uh, lace because this happens you see where it's all sort of like burnt and crispy we don't want burnt crispy lace ends so like i said just leave it do it very gently barely anything at all and just heat that and make sure it's in the blue clear bit of the of the, the flame cannot get my words out today and then we're just going to do the scrunch and i'd use a 1.5 inch ribbon as well so just do an s shape there Wrap that together. Mind your fingers so you don't have any crafting related injuries like myself. Opposite way on this side. There we go. And then we want some glue there. open your clip up put it slightly to the side of your center twist that round so you get that twist look and give it like a little scrunch and then pull it so it's slightly angled over there there you go and there's your left handed and your right hand version, like I said, perfectly for you that are either dominant left handed or, like I said, pigtail sets. So thanks for watching all and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.